All right, so I just want to get straight into the topic of this video. I didn't think I would make a video about this. Also, I'm at my grandma's house staying in for a sleepover. As some of you guys did know, there's probably some indie games you're probably familiar with. If you're a fan of indie games, I should say, like Hollow Knight or Call of the Lamb, just to name a few. And both of these games uses this source engine called Unity. Now, there's different types of uses that you want to put it. You could put it on personal use, which you can use it for free. If you want to use Unity Pro, you have to pay $3.99 per year to use it which is probably where the kickstarter money went when hollow knight started the kickstarter back in like 2013 i think i'm gonna have to fact check it right after i'm done editing this video so unity is now adding fees when it comes to installing the app when you're using it to make an indie game and let alone just using it in general and it's going to impact a bunch of indie game developers and players that also installed or uninstalled the game. Unity introducing new fee attached to game installs. Unity's new runtime fee will kick in after developers cross specific revenue and installed thresholds. The cost of using Unity as a game engine is once again about to increase starting in January 2024. The company will begin charging what it's calling a Unity runtime fee that is based on the number of users installing games built on the widely used engine. The runtime fee will kick in after developers cross specific revenue and install thresholds that scale with different subscription plans. For those on Unity Personal or Unity Plus licenses, the fee will kick in after a project crosses both $200,000 in revenue over 12 months and 200,000 total installs. Developers operating on the Unity Pro or Unity Enterprise licenses will be granted a higher threshold before they begin owning fees. For those devs, the charge will kick in after a title earns $1 million over that same 12-month period and passes 1 million installs. According to a breakdown sent to game developer by Unity, fees will be charged on a monthly basis. The amount charged per install will also vary depending on the license. Unity Personal and Plus developers will pay a flat fee of $0.20 cents per per install pro and enterprise users will pay a smaller per install fee that scales downward with the number of installations over the initial threshold pro user fees will begin at 15 cents per install and scale downward to as low as 0.2 cents per install while enterprise user fees will begin at 12.5 cents per install and scale down to as low as 0.1 cents per install now right off the bat it doesn't make any sense whatsoever now you have to pay in change every time you install unity to either create a game or use it to create some sort of project in relation to the source engine i feel like as a company making this change adding some fees every time you install the source engine is really really greedy okay because i feel like even if like a thousand people downloaded this are you really just doing this just to get more revenue out of this okay i mean you got the advertisements you got unity pro you got unity enter Surprise. so there's really no need to charge someone all because they wanted to use unity for making a project for making a game or just to test something out fees will also vary depending on what region a game is monetizing in unity has said and quote emerging market monthly rate for developers and monetizing in countries like india in those regions personal and plus users would owe 0.2 cents per install pro users would owe 0.1 cents per install and enterprise users will owe 0.005 cents per install developers of free-to-play games which have a much higher install rate than premium titles will have the option to offset this fee by adopting other unity services such as its level play advertising mediation service Unity stated in a blog that it is implementing the runtime fee in lieu of a revenue sharing program. The company said it believes an install based fee allows creators to keep the ongoing financial gains from player engagement. As for why Unity has chosen to introduce these new fees, Unity created president Mark Witten told the game developer the company is seeking to quote better balance the value exchange between Unity and developers. After discussing the ins and outs of the fee, Witten chose to speak more plainly about why unity is charging developers an additional fee quote we want to make more money so that we can continue to invest in the engine but it still doesn't make any sense why would you charge someone just because they downloaded the app or the source engine for either personal use 
for using the pro version of this for the enterprise version of this all because they want to use it because they installed it now i can understand if they're paying a subscription for the pro or for the enterprise but i feel like logically when you're advertising this game engine in some sort of advertisement or even when users use unity for the different uses besides personal like pro and enterprise you're just making game developers and people that are interested in using this source engine to stop using it all because you wanted more money to invest in the engine how does that make sense like for the president of unity to say this what led unity to establish an install based fee in unity's announcement the company attributed the fee to the ongoing development of unity runtime the executable that players download with every game and allows game made in unity to work at scale unity has not previously charged developers for any services related to unity runtime its various licensing plans hawk the capabilities of the unity editor and offer a number of services for live service games including devops monetization and player analytics wouldn't explain that maintaining the unity runtime is cutable is an active effort even after a game ships unity runtime needs to be frequently updated to operate on platforms that are being constantly updated quote is quite expensive he said adding that the fee was designed to charge developers who have found quote unquote scale to success with their games while giving smaller studios enough time to build their audience before paying additional costs so you're basically saying that you want the revenue being collected from like let's say hollow knight call of the lamb totally accurate battle simulator totally accurate battlegrounds because you want to get the revenue being collected from the games that also made money from it how does that make sense again i don't know what's going on with the mind of the president of unity but i feel like even this quote-unquote change is enough to change the people using this source this source engine is gonna be starting effective immediately by january of next year and this might be the reason why hall night silk song is gonna be delayed as well i want you to take a minute and pause just to see what you're looking at because i feel like we can all agree that charging someone over installing the source engine is pretty ridiculous there is something eyebrow raising about the fee structure unity is offering to free to play developers as mentioned up top devs who see an excess of game installs based on their business model will have the option to receive a discount on fees if they work with unity to contract additional services with level play level play itself is a free service but unity gets a cut of whatever is spent on ad mediation developers already relying on those services will be in a good position but developers who use other ad mediation services would have to evaluate if level play quote delivers the value they would expect with it as wooden put it some may wonder why they're being asked to either pay a fee that could run anywhere from 15000 to 20000 per month if they don't switch to Unity's ad mediation service. Witten characterized the discount program as being one of many quote-unquote tools to help developers ensure the fee they pay scales to the revenue they're earning. Quote, we didn't build this program saying you have to use level play. It's just another option we have in place for people. He pointed out that such developers will be in a position to benefit from from in-app monetization after players download their game and will not owe unity any share of revenue from said players paying fifteen thousand to twenty thousand dollars per month if they don't switch to unity's ad mediation service is like out of the unordinary out of any company that does this change this is basically the equivalent of elon's change to twitter all right where he went from calling twitter twitter to x and now we got unity doing these additional fees whether you're using it or you're not using the engine for personal use or for additional use whether you're changing from pro or enterprise imagine paying fifteen thousand to twenty thousand per month if you don't switch to unity's ad mediation service that's already enough to convince you that they're being very very greedy and how is this even approved by the team that's working in this source engine all right even if this does come to effect by next year in january i just hope Paul Nice Silk Song comes out and the final update of Call of the Lamb and maybe any game that's coming out before 2024 because there's like two games yeah there's no there's a game that I've been wanting to play and I haven't talked about it, I haven't made a video about it but there's this game called Another Crab's Adventure 
Now, this game also uses Unity to develop the game like, like just from start to finish. Now, the developers of another Crab's adventure, AgroCrab, made a response to Unity's change of fees that the developers have to pay while they're making the game and while the game is released and the copies being sold with the money being collected being given to Unity with this new change. Hey gamers, today Unity, the engine we use to make our games, announced that they'll soon be taking a fee from developers for every copy of the game installed over a certain threshold, regardless of how that copy was obtained. Guess who has somewhat highly anticipated game coming to Xbox Game Pass in 2024? That's right. It's us and a lot of other developers. That means another Crab's Adventure will be free to install for the 25 million Game Pass subscribers. If a fraction of those users download our game, Unity could take a fee that puts an enormous dent in our income and threatens the sustainability of our business. And that's before we even think about sales on other platforms or pirated installs of our game or even multiple installs by the same user. This decision puts us and countless other studios in a position where we might not be able to justify using unity for our future titles if these changes aren't rolled back we'll be heavily considering abandoning our wealth of unity we've accumulated over the years and starting from scratch in a new engine which is really something we'd rather not do on behalf of the dev community we're calling on unity to reverse the latest in a string of short-sighted decisions that seem to prioritize shareholders over their products actual users i effing hate it here agrocrab innoslav made a quote tweet of agrocrab's statement with their own statement on their own tweet we use unity to make our games this would harm not only us but fellow game studios of all budgets and sizes if this go through we delay content and features our players actually want to port our game elsewhere as others are also considering but many developers won't have the time or means to do the same stop it WTF. And it's sad too because imagine a team of people that have been using Unity for X amount of years and has been on hold for quite some time and now they got the specific date to release this game and now Unity is making this change to do some fees on the installs and the amount of time you've been spending on it and getting revenue collected from the amount of money being gained from the game that was created by Unity. It's ridiculous. All right, like are the advertisements and people paying for the pro or the enterprise subscriptions for Unity enough for you? Why do you need to make more money just to gain more revenue? Okay, I feel like to me and any indie game developer that's been using this source engine to make their games can agree strongly that this is the worst decision you can make by the amount of time you've been spending to decide whether or not this is going to be a public statement and decision being said from the president of this source engine i find it pretty ironic that the person that created the article says how would developers react to another price increase from unity well if you look at twitter possibly tiktok twitch and maybe youtube any social media that you use whether an indie game developers over there or on, or on a different social media platform everybody's talking about this let alone indie game fans indie game developers everybody strongly agrees that this decision that you've been deciding exactly a year after and you thought that people were going to have a different reaction well it's already going downhill and if this doesn't change then all of the sales about to drop it's just gonna go bankrupt the price bump follow a summer of business moves that angered some of its customers at the time Witten has said the company quote wasn't talking enough to the development community and that it helped to improve reactions in the year ahead Witten admitted that when chatting with partners about the runtime fee no one was quote really excited to discuss the idea of raising the price of unity he said those developers he spoke with did acknowledge unity's need to invest in unity runtime and claimed there was a quote strong desire for the company to continue investing heavily in the engine so logically when nobody was happy about this decision you probably should have listened to how they reacted instead of trusting your own gut because even if you're rising rising the price for people to pay a specific subscription either pro or enterprise even people installing the source engine and just getting a little bit of change back from installing it and uninstalling it is the craziest thing that out of any president of owning an app or making the app the creator of the app anybody can agree that this is just ridiculous and 
I don't think anybody should pay, let's say like 10 cents every time you download YouTube. Like imagine YouTube doing this. Unity is also making some updates to its licensing plan that developers might find favorable. Developers will no longer face restrictions on using a Unity personal license if they are coming into a project with funding or make revenue off their game. Said licenses will face higher per install fees after crossing the threshold, but when said the company's goal would be to transition those developers to a pro or enterprise plan rather than surprising them with an inflated runtime fee. All Unity's plans will also be upgraded with access to a new cloud-based asset storage system, Unity DevOps tools, and Unity's generative AI technology at quote no extra cost starting in November 2023. Those additions are likely to a sewage, I don't know how you say it, a subset of Unity users who feel the company has lost touch with the community and made it a viable competitor to Epic Games' Unreal Engine. One Unity developer briefed on the runtime fee who requested an anonymity in order to speak freely pointed out the fee might be extra painful for developers who sell their game for less than $10 like the makers of Vampire Survivors. Quote, sales will be more costly for developers since they are not asking for a percentage but a flat fee, they pointed out. Said developer argued that this fee, quote, screws over indies and smaller devs the most. After publication, Win and Unity reached out to respond to developers' concerns stating that the prices increase does not impact the majority of customers a large majority of unity editor customers are currently not paying and will not be impacted by this change he also sought to clarify that the runtime fee is not retroactive nor perpetual quote we do not charge for older installs only new installs after january 1 2024 but even if you are charging to the newer people that are installing unity it's still stupid all right like it's unfair that you're saying that they're not going to charge to the older installs but rather to the new installs imagine someone deleting unity because it takes a lot of space and now they're re reinstalling again they're gonna have to pay the fees to install and to choose which subscription they're gonna use to make a project or a game i feel like that doesn't make any sense in the slightest in the, the, the despite the fact that they spent exactly a year on this conversation whether or not this decision is going to be a benefit or just a downfall to the usage of this source engine. Some Unity services like Weta Tools and its game server hosting and matchmaking services target traditional game developers, but its completed merger with Iron Source and ongoing layoffs in pursuit of profitability has been regarded as moves made with investors, not creators, in mind. Whether developers view Unity's embrace of generative AI tools as an investor-minded move or development service is unclear. Concerns from the former group about the copyright risks that come with AI proved to be well-founded after one of the first tool makers invited the Unity's AI marketplace was accused of stealing assets from 3D modeling platform Sketchfab. At the time, Unity would only state that the tool makers violated Unity's terms of service and did not specify what terms were violated. Wooden remains optimistic, however, that Unity is on track to build better relationships with its customers. He pointed to the company's attendance at Gamescom and Game Developers Conference as major opportunities to speak with Unity users. The engine maker is also preparing to host Unite 2023 in November, which will mark the first in-person Unite event since the COVID-19 pandemic subsided. Quote, there's a level of excitement at Unity just to be with all of our creators at our event, he said adding that the company is getting back to its quote pre-pandemic candidates with regards to how it interacts with its community of developers at physical events. So yeah, after reading this entire article carefully as to what's being shown and for the topic of this video, of course, I feel like after spending an entire year on the conversation to decide whether or not this is going to be a good decision for Unity, this is basically going to be the downfall for Unity and for newer people that are trying to use Unity. And we won't know what's going to be the upcoming indie game that future indie game developers are going to use and to use unity and possibly make that indie game a hit but again we will not know and you know some of the studios that use this source engine for example like team cherry massive monster devolver digital agro crab Inuslav, okay? You even got games that you probably played before, like Hollow Knight, Call of the Lamb, Totally Accurate Battlegrounds, Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Any game that uses this source engine, they may not be able to pay a fee 
because it's an older install but the newer people that are going to use this source engine have to pay an extensive amount of money regardless of the subscription or the amount of times they installed or uninstalled it but again this does not make sense to me in the slightest okay i feel like any indie game developer or any indie game fan that has played games that involve with the source engine and that are fans of like let's say team cherry devolver digital uh massive monster or they're fans of Totally Acre Battle Simulator, Totally Acre Battlegrounds, or they're very excited to play Agro Crab, or they're pretty familiar with Among Us. Like, you've seen the responses. Agro Crab and Innerslav completely disagree with what's being shown. All right. I feel like anybody with like an IQ over 99, let's say, can understand that this decision doesn't make any sense in the slightest. To sum it all up, Unity just wants more money and is very greedy with this decision. And I just hope that they change it before the new year comes. And if they don't, this is going to be the downfall of Unity, calling it right now. I may be a small YouTuber, but I feel like my voice can speak for a thousand people that are watching this video. Again, I didn't think I would make a video about this, and I know this is going to take a long time for me to edit this video. And I'm sorry for the noises that you're hearing, for the crickets that are outside of my window, for the fan that you're hearing. I have to speak very low. I wanted to make a video to let you guys know, and I thought it'd be pretty important to talk about. I also feel like the fans of, of Hollow Knight, for example, like Fireborn, Scurry, Mossbag, Blue SR, uh, fans of call of the lamb anybody that's a fan of the game being used by unity should also talk about this rubber Ross has already talked about it blue sr has talked about it ross putin has talked about it there's also this hashtag which is do the right thing which i'm gonna put in the title of this video just to raise awareness i feel like this should be used not just in a youtube video but also in tweets either on tiktok any social media app you're using i feel like this should be used as a hashtag but that's all i want to say for this video this is going to be pretty long not just for me recording it but also to edit but now that i'm done hope you all did enjoy if you guys did leave a like subscribe comment down below think about the video i just hope that they remove this change and hopefully this is not permanent otherwise it's going to be the downfall of unity this is wolf dark gray and i'll see y'all later see ya